Hey guys and welcome back. Welcome back to another glorious video I am putting in front of your beautiful eye holes. Right, uh, I'm very aware that I haven't posted in about two and a half weeks. I've moved, I've got better internet, I locked myself out of my YouTube account because I'm an idiot. All those excuses, so on and so forth. I could come up with a million others. Um, so let's get straight down to the point of this video. There's been two betas that came out recently on PS4. Uh, that's, I've played, I managed to get an access key to Rainbow Six Siege, and I managed to get, the obviously everyone managed to get the open beta to Star Wars Battlefront. So let's start with Rainbow Six Siege first. Well, as I said before, I managed to get the key from uh, Ubisoft. Ubisoft, thank you very much. Um, I was not very impressed with it, to be brutally honest. Um, I did play it, yes, I had a great time on it. But only when I was running with friends, Blue Dots really annoyed me because they just got themselves killed. No, they, they just don't understand tag, just run and gun, blow people's faces off, you know. Um, the, it was easy to pick up, easy to learn, easy to play, you know. I just think the learning curve is going to be a case of once you reach the peak, it's going to plateau and that's it. I don't think there's much replayability in that. Um, I was expecting something a bit more along the lines of Rainbow Six Vegas where there was a bit of story mode behind it where you could go keep going back and do missions even harder, even more faster, you know, all that sort of stuff. But yeah, they could have taken any of Tom Clancy's novels and made a story mode out of it. It's just the games like this with no campaign mode, it just screams esports to me. So yeah, you know, uh, <laughs> will I buy it after what I've played the beta? Probably not. I don't think I will. Um, my £55 is probably going to be safe for The Division, and this is probably going to be a case for a lot of people. Uh, they're going to wait and hold out for that game, because I know there's a lot of controversy going around about at the minute, but yeah, I'm probably going to hold it for that and give that a go and give that a play. That just seems too much more awesome than this game. So yeah, uh, not for me, really. Um, sorry, guys, but no. Uh, <laughs> Yes, that's basically it. No, not really much to say, really, because there wasn't really much else to say. Lack of game modes, lack of uh, diversity, lack of experiences. The, the, all the classes you picked felt generic. You need either ran around as a guy with a shield, a guy with an HMG, or the guy with that silly robot rover thing. But that, again, my subjective opinion about it, you know, you got to have to to me. If you guys really enjoyed the game, go and buy it. Don't listen to an idiot like me who drinks beer and eats far too much bacon. But now, moving on to the uh, Star Wars Battlefront. Well, huh, where do you want me to start with this? The Star Wars Battlefront beta was actually quite interesting because I've noticed a lot of people have been saying, oh, the buddy system, the buddy system, the buddy system is very good. This it makes you want to care more about your your buddy and all that jazz. But if you're in a chat with your friends on the PlayStation Network, you're already talking to them, so the buddy system is now redundant and no need for it. So just get into a squad and go shoot people. A lot of, uh, I say a lot of, a few YouTubers have said the buddy system makes you want to care more about your player. You want to get him through bits and pieces. Bullshit. They've just needlessly put something in there for God knows. It's a stripped down Battlefield 4. Something a lot of people have been saying a lot of lately. Uh, why don't you just use something... A mechanic similar to what Battlefield 4 has. I mean, shit, you've already fucking carbon copied the freaking um, the programming from it. Why not do that far? You know, that, that's basically it for me. Um, I had a great time playing it though. I got with some friends. The graphics are utterly amazing. Beautiful graphics. Yes, the Rebels do win, but only if the team is actually focused on killing those bloody freaking walkers. If uh, two, three people don't focus on the walkers, uh, the game's lost. So, yeah, very frustrating for the Rebels because the walkers just don't die. Um, and nine times the ten, the uh, the Imperials will win. But uh, yeah, um, other than that, not too impressed either. Those betas, really, uh, guys. Um, again, I wouldn't buy them. I'll one wait for Battlefield Five, dude. I mean, that's going to be Battlefield Four laser beams. So why not wait for the full-on Battlefield Five with laser beams? That just makes more sense to me. Um, so yeah, that's it, really. I won't buy either of these games. At all, really. I'll be saving my hard-earned pennies for other beer, bacon, or more video games. So, yeah, that's 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 basically it for me, guys. Thank you very much. And uh, just on a side note, I will be streaming a lot more stuff thanks to my new interwebs. Yay! Um, I will be getting a whole lot more Destiny out there. I'm actually going to be streaming a whole lot of Destiny for the next week or so. So, I think tonight, if you guys watch, if I put, depends on where I post this out. Tonight, I'll be streaming um, the Heroic Strikes from Destiny. got to get me some 305 Gloriousness. Uh, I'll probably do a whole lot of Warthorn. I'm getting really into that because Destiny is is becoming a bit repetitive. So I'm getting back into my War Thunders, my Warframes, and of course the ultimate, the favorite, Battlefield 4. So of course I'll be streaming all those. Um, I'm probably going to do a series on um, Valiant Hearts uh, coming up soon for November because you know 
Got to remember November. And uh, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Keep your earpieces and eye holes um, wide open for some more videos coming very, very, very soon. Guys, thank you very much. Cheers. Bye.